Hello, my name is Dr. Michelle Maidenberg, and today's guided meditation is gonna be on empowerment. I feel like we're all in a space where we need a lot of strength and wherewithal, you know, just to be in the moment. There's so much going on right now. Um, elections coming up. You know, the sad predicament around racism, resurgence of COVID, and then some are coming upon us and a lot of our children not having specific plans. So I just want to give us kind of a little bit of strength just to be able to be in the present moment and to follow through however we need to and to be in our own space. Everybody's in a different space. So if you could sit up with a straight posture and when you feel comfortable enough, you could close your eyes. And bring awareness to your breath. Feel the breath, each breath as it comes in and goes out. Letting the breath be just as it is, without trying to change or regulate it in any way. Allowing it to flow easily and naturally. With its own rhythm and pace, knowing you're breathing perfectly well right now. Nothing for you to do right now just to listen to the sound of my voice. Allow your body to be still and sitting with a sense of dignity, a sense of resolve, a sense of being complete, whole, and in this very moment, with your posture reflecting the sense of wholeness, As you sit here letting an image form in your mind's eye of the most magnificent or beautiful mountain you know or have seen or can imagine, allowing the sense of this mountain and feeling its overall shape, its lofty peak or peaks high in the sky, a large base rooted in the bedrock of the earth's crust its steep or gently sloping sides. Noticing how massive it is, how solid, how unmoving, how beautiful, whether from afar or up close. Perhaps your mountain has snow blanketed its top and trees reaching down to the base or rugged granite sides. There may be streams and waterfalls cascading down the slopes. There may be one peak or a series of peaks or with meadows and high lakes, observing it, noting its qualities. And when you feel ready, seeing if you can bring the mountain into your own body sitting here so that your body and the mountain in your mind's eye become one so that as you sit here you share in the massiveness and the stillness and the majesty of the mountain you become the mountain grounded in the seating posture your head becomes the lofty peak supported by the rest of the body and affording a panoramic view. Your shoulders and arms, the sides of the mountain. Your legs, the solid base, rooted to your cushion of your chair, experiencing your body, a sense of uplift from deep within your pelvis and spine with each breath as you continue sitting, becoming a little more a breathing mountain, 
alive and vital, yet unwavering in your inner stillness, completely what you are beyond words, centered, grounded, unmoving presence. As you sit here, Become aware of the fact that as the sun travels across the sky, the light and shadows and colors are changing virtually moment by moment, and the mountain stillness and the surface teems with life and activity. Streams, melting snow, waterfalls, plants, and wildlife. As the mountain sits, seeing and feeling how the night follows day and the day follows night. The bright warming sun followed by the cool night sky studded with stars and the gradual dawning of a new day. In any season, it may find itself at times unshrouded in clouds or fog or pelted by freezing rain. People may come to see the mountain and comment on how beautiful it is. Clouds may come and clouds may go. Taurus may like it or not. The mountain's magnificence and beauty are not changed one bit by whether people see it or not. Seen or unseen in sun or clouds, broiling or frigid, day or night, it just sits being itself. Through it all, the mountain continues to sit, unmoved by the weather, by what happens on its surface by the world of appearances, remaining its essential self. Through the seasons, the changing weather, the activity ebbing and flowing on its surface. In the same way, as we sit in meditation, we can learn to experience the mountain. We can embody the same central, unwavering stillness and groundedness in the face of everything that changes in our own lives over seconds, over hours, or over years. In our lives, we experience constantly the changing nature of mind and body and the outer world. We have our own periods of light and darkness, activity and inactivity, our moments of color, and our moments of drabbiness. It's true that we experience storms of varying intensity and violence in the outer world and in our own minds and bodies, buffeted by high winds, by cold and rain, we endure periods of darkness and pain, as well as moments of joy and uplift. Even our appearance changes constantly experiencing a weather of its own. By becoming the mountain, we can link up with its strength and stability and adopt them for our own. We can use its energies to support our energy, to encounter each moment and mindfulness and equanimity and clarity. It may help us to see that our thoughts, our feelings, our emotional storms and crisis, even the things that happen to us are very much like the weather on the mountain. We tend to take it personally, but its strongest characteristics is impersonal. The weather of our own lives is not to be ignored or denied. It is to be encountered, honored, felt, known for what it is and held in awareness and in holding it in this way we come to know a deeper silence and stillness and wisdom. Mountains have this to teach us and much more if we can let it in. So if you find you resonate in some way with the strength and stability of the mountain in your sitting, 
use it for resolve and wakefulness. Moment by moment, you work towards intensifying your strength and being your best self. When you're ready, I wanna to count to three, you could open your eyes. One, two, and three. Thank you so much. I hope you and your families are safe and healthy.